Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today I will show you how to make an egg cage wreath. This wreath is a charming and rustic decoration that is a perfect way to add a touch of farmhouse style to your home decor for spring and Easter. Whether you're an experienced crafter or just starting out, this project is fun and easy to make. So grab your crafting supplies and let's get started. Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today we're gonna to be doing a farmhouse egg wreath. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while and I'm really excited that we can get started on this today. So what you're gonna need is two of these egg-shaped wreaths that you find at the Dollar Tree. I've also picked up some floral moss from the Dollar Tree and you could get Spanish moss, whatever color that you think will look good. You could do the green. I have two of these eggs from Hobby Lobby and this wire ribbon. I found this at Hobby Lobby and it's 2.25 inches times 15 feet. It's in the ribbon section and some, um, jute cord here that we're going to use to hold it together and let's get started all right so the first thing we're going to do is add our moss to our wire wreath frame and there's a front and a back to these the eggs are a little bit harder to see it's just a very slight dip but you want it to go um, you want it on the back side and we're going to start by adding our moss to the top of this part of our frame here, or to the back side of it. And I found this at Hobby Lobby, or at Dollar Tree in the crafting floral section. And we're just gonna take this and we're going to spread it out on our wreath here. And remember you're on the back side of the wreath where it curves in a little bit and we're just going to start placing our moss in the thickness that we want around our wreath frame here it's probably going to take about two packages i wasn't sure how many so i had got four but now that we're going through this I might even be able to get away with just one but let's see here And we're just going to place our moss. I'm so excited. I've seen these all over the place and been wanting to do my own. So, oh, one bag of moss is going to be plenty. I will have extra moss for future crafting projects. All right. That worked out pretty good with just one, one bag there. So you want to just even it out. Make sure it's your moss is all on there covering the frame. We'll just get all that added there. All right. All right, so we have our moss placed on the back side of our egg shape wire wreath frame. So now we're gonna open our eggs. And I've seen people say that they've seen them at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree or maybe mine just doesn't have them. So I found these at Hobby Lobby and look at that cute ribbon. We can save that for another craft. We always are recycling whatever stuff like that because you never know when you're gonna use it. And look how cute this little carton of eggs is. And they have the little speckles on it. I like these. You can use the regular white eggs, whichever kind of eggs that you want to use in your design here. So now we're going to take our eggs and we're going to just place them on top of the moss around our wreath frame. And I'm going to alternate the colors here. And we're just going to continue going around here. 
and you could space them out the way that you want to. Blue, pink, and white. I'm gonna open up the other pack now. All right, so I've added my eggs around my frame and I have it assembled the way that I like. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take some pieces of this twine. I did find this at the Dollar Tree and we're gonna cut about some pieces here. And let's do about four to five pieces. And we're gonna use this twine to help us tie the wreath frames together. And now we're gonna take our other wreath frame, and this is on the back side with the curve facing up. We're gonna flip that over, and we're going to put, we're gonna match it right on top of our other frame, okay? So we have the two on top of each other here. And we're gonna use this twine to tie these wreath frames together. And this could just, it's just gonna be a temporary tie. You can cut it off at the end, or if you like the look of it, you can keep it as well. So we're going to come under the wreath frame and we're going to just very gently tie these together, okay? We don't have to go super tight. It's just securing these together until we can get our wire wrapped around the design. So I'm going to go around. On I'm just kind of going by the brackets for now. And we're just tying it in a knot here. And the twine looks good in the farmhouse design. Like I said, if you want to keep it at the end, you can. Otherwise, we can cut it out of our design here. So I'm going to add some more twine up here. And you can also do this design in a round wreath frame, which has more of a curve. And these egg ones just don't seem to have too much of a curve, but it still looks really cute in the egg wreath form. All right, so we're getting our eggs, we're getting our design secured with this twine together so nothing falls out when we're ready to put that wire ribbon around the design to secure it for good. All right, so I'm going to put this last piece up top here. And let's do one more towards the bottom. I'm gonna add one more down here.
All right. So there we have that. Now what we can do at this point, if you want to add some more moss, I'm going to go ahead and open up another bag of moss. And I'm going to just add a little bit more moss into this design before we wrap it for good. And if you see any spots that you look, you think might need a little bit more, I'm just going to add, just kind of place a little bit more in some of the open gaps there. In between the eggs. So I'm just going to get this the way that I like it. And now's your time to get your design the way you want because we're going to start wrapping it with that wire and then we won't be able to add any more moss. So I'm just going in between each of the eggs now and adding some more moss so it looks like it's a little bit fuller here. So we're going to start covering our wreath frame with this chicken wire ribbon and just be careful because it does have some pokey ends and we're going to start by putting our wire and I'll lift this up. I'm going to start by just tucking that at the bottom and you can just kind of tuck it up in there. Okay, so we're going to wrap this at an angle, all right? And you don't have to go super tight, but we want not to go straight around. We want to kind of curve it at an angle, okay? So we're going to go around with this wire and see how I have it. I have my first wrap and now I'm going to take this in and I'm going to make sure it's covering just barely that other end and we're going to go around our wreath here with this wire, this chicken wire and we're going to wrap our whole design here and it's just going to hold it all together and give it a fun farmhouse look with that with that chicken wire ribbon here. Look how cute that is. Now let's see how much ribbon this is gonna take. So just gonna keep moving around. See that twine, you can't even really, you can't even see it really. And it kind of adds to the um, look of our design. So it's up to you if you wanna keep that at the end or, or clip it off. So we're just going to keep going around and securing everything together here. Like I said, you don't have to go super tight, but we're just holding, this is just holding our two wreath frames together and you want to make sure the wires overlapping each other. And they always have this at Hobby Lobby. I was lucky I got the last two rolls of it when I went in looking for it. I knew I should have got it when it was 40% off. I looked at it, I didn't get it, and then of course everything was um, off sale, but I was very happy that I got the last um, two rolls that I needed. And it looks like we might just be getting away with using one roll of this. So we're just wrapping all the way around, securing both of those wreath frames together. Ooh, 
that would be cool if we can just get away with one. It's going to be pretty close. Oh, I think we're going to do it. Look at that. One roll. We did it. Okay. So now we're at the end here. Now we can flip it over. And I'm going to go ahead and clip this off. Just be careful you don't poke yourself. Take some wire clippers. Now these ends are sharp. So let's try to like see if we can't get those to go either under that wreath bar or around it. These are wire clippers. It would help if I had some pliers. <laughs> but I'm just kind of taking those ends there and the sharp ends that we cut and just bending them down around that bar. We don't want any pokies coming out here. And look at how cute our Easter egg wreath is. With It's all secured together. We have the moss in there. And look at how fun that is. And you know what? I'm just going to... Debating if I want to just leave the, uh, oh, let's go ahead and cut. Now we're going to cut our, I mean, you can barely see it, but I'm going to cut those, um, that twine off now. And take that twine out that we use to secure it. And if you want, like I said, if you want to keep it, keep it because you honestly can't see it. And even if you did, it still adds to the design, but I'm just going to clip mine off here. And that was just a perfect way to hold it together. So we could, there we go. And look at how cute our egg wreath is so far. And you could just bend the wire down if you feel any pokies. There we go. So now we're going to embellish this with the ribbon. All right, so I made a couple bows. Um, it kind of took me a minute to decide what type of bow I wanted. So I made these two bows here. I made this one first and it was just too big. So I made a smaller version and I really like this ribbon because if you can see it, it has that little kind of like a check and it just kind of reminded me of um, this wire like a wire look to it and it's definitely has that farmhouse look so I made a smaller version and I really like this size for our wreath and I do have the ribbon tutorial link in the description box down below if you want to learn how to make this style of bow otherwise you can add any bow of your choice now and I think this is just going to be perfect right there at the top and the tails fall so nicely and the, the wreath there. Let me just cut that part off. So all as I'm going to do, it's up to you if you want to add some wire to the back and wire it to the frame. But I'm going to just put some hot glue here and we're going to hot glue it right to our frame to finish the, up this design. So let's just go ahead and add our hot glue. And we're gonna put this right there in the center of our wreath. And hold it on there. And while I'm holding that, while it's drying, I wanted to show you that I did add a zip tie to the back on the first and second bar to make this easier to hang. Otherwise, you can just catch one of the wires on the back as well. 
And this completes our design today. I'm so happy that you came to my channel and crafted this really cute farmhouse egg wreath with me and that you'll come back to my channel and craft with me some more and don't forget to subscribe like and follow me for more wreath and crafting ideas and if you ring that bell you'll get notifications on all my future tutorials when they come out and if you can leave a comment let me know what you think of this video it really makes my heart happy to get everybody's feedback on my tutorials and I just hope that you'll come back and craft with me again. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow me for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours.